late 1944, Hitler was planning one last desperate offensive to attempt to obtain a separate peace from the Western Allies. The Wacht am Rhein plan was designed to split the British and American armies as well as capture Antwerp. As a part of the plan was Operation Grief under the command of Otto Skorzeny. English-speaking German commandos in American uniforms and using as much American equipment as possible would infiltrate American positions to seize bridges across the Meuse. This unit, entitled Panzerbrigade 150, was supposed to consist of 3,000 men, 15 Sherman tanks, 30 armored cars and 150 jeeps. Unfortunately for the brigade, the required equipment never materialized. Panzerbrigade 150 went into battle with only about 2,500 men and a dozen tanks and assault guns, all to be disguised as Allied tanks. The 4 to 10 Panther tanks in the unit were modified to look like US M10 tank destroyers. The turret was disguised by using five pieces of sheet metal, two of which were cut to resemble the distinctive sides of the M10 turret. The fourth gun shield was attached to the Panther gun shield and all the lifting rings, brackets, extra armor found on the M10 turret were carefully duplicated and welded to the fourth turret. Approximately four pieces of sheet metal shaped to imitate as closely as possible the contours of the M10 bow made up the fourth bow, necessary because the Panther's bow is bulkier than the M10's. All the brackets, lifting rings, towing devices, etc. of the M10 bow were also imitated. While a few of the Jeep commando teams easily slipped through the American sentries and went freely behind American lines, the rest of the unit languished. When it became apparent that no breakthrough was going to occur, the Panthers in disguise were committed along with the rest of the brigade as a normal combat unit. Ultimately, all of the vehicles were destroyed or disabled in the fighting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.